1991, America sent 400 fighter jets for Desert Storm, and half of them were F-16s, but even with 400 fighter jets, only stealth F-117s were able to hit targets in Baghdad because it was surrounded by thousands of surface-to-air missiles and AAA guns, however, the third day of war becomes the largest F-16 strike in history. Package Q consisted of 72 F-16 Fighting Falcons, each armed with two Mark 84 2,000-pound bombs, 14 F-15Cs for air superiority, 6 F-4Gs for seeds, and two EF-111s for jamming enemy radars. The moment they crossed into Baghdad, trouble began, as 6 F-4Gs had to leave due to low fuel, while two EF-111s were not enough to jam all the enemy air defenses, and the sky began filling with thousands of surface-to-air missiles in AAA fire. Soon the F-16s were ordered to leave, yet half of the strike package struck an oil refinery and some air defense sites. On their way back, two F-16s were struck by radar-guided SAMs, while one F-16 brilliantly evaded six surface-to-air missiles.